What's up YouTube, how are you doing? This is Mr. Tybox 123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you a complete product tour of the Galaxy Nexus. So I'm going to completely run you through Android version 4 ice cream sandwich in this video. I've been using the Nexus now for about two days and it, I think it would just be really good for me to just show you around the operating system, show you what it looks like and what some of its features are. So here we go, once we're logged in, this is now the home screen and you can see that I've got like a whole sort of range of icons on here along with a analog clock, the Google search button which has also got voice activation there at the top and then we've got our dock at the bottom along with our three kind of capacitive touch buttons at the bottom of the screen. Now one thing that I have been most impressed with with this phone is the screen itself. It's a 720p screen and it's got a slight curve to it as well and it really is an absolute pleasure to use and it's absolutely stunning to look at. So this is our home screen like I said. If we swipe over to the left we've got our kind of quick shortcut buttons here to turn on and off various settings so we can do things like screen brightness, we can do GPS, Bluetooth and also Wi-Fi. Above that I've got a small YouTube widget which actually is really really nice it just shows you all of the videos that are actually in your subscription and you can just very simply just flick through the videos and if you want to go to one you can just click on the video and it will open it straight up in the YouTube application really cool kind of widget there one of Dave's videos there so if we then swipe back over to the right we're back onto our home screen the operating system now in ice cream sandwich is a massive improvement on what's gone before it's much snappier much quicker when you actually go to start using these applications and just navigating yourself around the operating system we've got the typical kind of notifications bar here at the top which we can just swipe up and down in fact, in the notifications bar, it tells you the network you're on, and then you've also got a quick shortcut to all of the settings that you've got in the operating system as well. So you've got things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can check out your data usage as well. And in fact, the data usage application, it really is very, very cool. It actually gives you a complete graph of what you're actually using, how much data you're using, and then breaks it down into the individual applications that are actually using that data. And I think that, that is absolutely fantastic. Even if you don't really care about how much data you're using, it's always kind of interesting just to get an idea of how much applications use in terms of data on an individual basis. We can actually go more and we've got things like VPN, tethering, NFC as well, which is included in this phone, Android Beam, Wi-Fi Direct, mobile networks. And then we've got the usual kind of sound display, storage, battery applications. Then we've got the account sync, location services, security, etc. etc. Now in the security one, this is where you can actually set up your face unlock for the phone. Now I thought this was just like a kind of bit of a fad, but as I've actually been using it, it's actually really nice because you just turn the standby button on, put look literally look at your phone and bang it's unlocked. And it really, really does work very well. Now I know that it's probably not the most secure thing in the world because someone could hold a photo up to it, but hey. I'm not really that bothered about the security of my phone. So we've got date and time, and then we've also got the about section in here as well. And in fact, if we go to Android version and we just keep clicking on that, it brings us up with a kind of funky little man here, the Android man, wearing a kind of caveman suit, which is kind of fun. So that's the settings. Like I said, we've got all of my kind of favorite, most used icons here on the front page and then we've got the docked ones down the bottom. In the middle of the dock, we've got a button here which is basically for a link to all of your applications. So in the applications here, one of the things that I do really like is the animation that they've put on the swipe between the applications. I don't know how well that's gonna come across on camera, but it's actually kind of nice. They've put a lot of finishing touches in here, almost Steve Jobs-esque kind of detail that they've kind of added into Ice Cream Sandwich, which I really, really like. In fact, I'll show you one more of those details, and that is when you turn it off, it gives that kind of old TV look and feel to it, which again, is only something very small, but it all adds to that kind of really nice user experience. So let's just have a look what we've got here in the apps. We've got books, browser, calculator, calendar. We've got the camera application. The camera application is actually really, really cool as well. So you can kind of see there we've got video mode 
and then we've got various settings for the video mode. We've got our white balance, which we can just set to auto or choose any of the others. And then we've got these kind of various different modes as well for silly faces and backgrounds. And I'm actually gonna do a separate video uh, on the camera of this, so we'll go into more detail about what they do in those. Um, we've got time lapse as well, and then we can actually set the quality of the video between 1080, 720 and 480p. So if we actually come out of that, what we can also do is flip the camera around and go to the front facing camera, and then you guys can see me there. And then we can also change over to standard photo mode where we're actually just gonna take fixed image pictures. And we've got some same kind of settings in there. We've got exposure, white balance, scenes, etc., etc. And then also in the camera, we've got this mode as well. And I haven't actually quite worked out exactly what this mode does yet, but again, when I do the full review on the actual cameras on this phone, I'll show you at that point. So there we are, back to the home screen, just simply by pressing the home button. Now, one of the other buttons here at the bottom is the multitasking button. And multitasking really is a complete pleasure to use on an ice cream sandwich. So you just press that button and it literally just shows us all of the applications that we've now got running and you can just simply scroll between all of them nice and quick and if we want to go into one of them we just click on it and it opens it straight up. The browser itself is definitely a lot faster, a lot more snappy even on things like YouTube pages which don't particularly work that well. Now on this version of Android 4 there's no flash support, I don't know if that's going to come or if it, if it isn't but I'm not particularly bothered about that anyway. So let's just go back into our applications here. We've also got, if we swipe a bit further over to the right, a whole collection of widgets. And if we want to add one of those widgets to our home screen, all we do is simply click on it, hold it down, and then just drag it to whichever pane we want in our home screen there. Now I haven't got any photos synced, but that's exactly how it works. And then you can move them around, you can resize them, and you can do whatever you want to do with them. And there's a whole range of different widgets in here, which are actually fairly useful, some of them. They've really put some effort into actually making them useful rather than just kind of looking good on your home screen. So anyway, guys, that's a very basic product there around Android 4 ice cream sandwich running on the Galaxy Nexus. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't been watching me before, please do subscribe for more and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.